Hi, today we are going to continue our tripod and head review series here on Lensvid and we are going to take a look at the 405 geared head by Manfrotto. Now before we do that, I want to show you two products that we just received yesterday. This is the Smooth Q gimbal by Zayun and this is the C700 color meter by Siconic. We're going to take a look at both of these after we test them for a while here on Lensvid in the near future. Now, what we are going to do now is take a closer look at the 405 gearhead by Manfrotto. Before we dive into the 405 review, I would like to briefly explain the concept behind the geared head and how it is different than other more common types of tripod heads. The most common tripod head is a ball head. Typically, it has a main knob which, when opened, lets you freely move your camera in all directions. This is great if you're looking for fast big movements, but it is not very accurate and gives you virtually no independent control over each axis. There are some advanced ball head mechanisms that can lock to move on just one axis like the FLM ball head that we have tested here last year, but they are still not going to give you the full control over every axis. To get this, you will need a three-way head. This type of head is larger and could be a little slower to operate as you might need to open and close each of the three handles to achieve perfect positioning of the head. However, with a three-way head, opening one axis does not affect the other two which can be invaluable for more precise work such as landscape, architecture or product shots. When the utmost precision is needed, even a three-way head might not be enough. To get perfect precision, a geared head lets you change the position of each axis extremely precisely with tiny increments using, well you guessed it, a built-in gear system. These types of heads have been used in photography as well as some very large geared heads that have been used for decades in the film industry for a long time. Now that we understand the reasoning behind the use of a geared head, let's take a closer look at the 4 or 5 geared head by Manfrotto. The 405 is superbly built. It is almost entirely made out of metal apart from the semi-hard foam on the edges of the handles, which are an interesting choice made by Manfrotto and might be easier to handle with gloves. The 405 is a very, very heavy head. At 1.6 kilograms or 3.5 pounds, there are very few other heads which can compete with it in this respect. However, it also has a pretty large carrying capacity of 7.5 kilograms or 16.5 pounds, which we suspect could have been much higher, but Manfrotto decided that it didn't want to risk users damaging the geared mechanism. The 405 has three high quality rubberized knobs for controlling pan, tilt, and rotation. These allow for 360 degree pans and 90 plus or 30 minus of frontal or literal tilt which is pretty much what you would expect from this type of head. The heart of the 405 is the geared mechanism. The mechanism is controlled by the three knobs and is extremely precise. Manfrotto suggests that for each full rotation of the knob you get 6.5 degrees of movement, but you can turn the handles far less of course getting fractions of a degree if you like. We have done some tests with a 100mm macro lens just to show you how the movement looks. We would probably not be replacing our high-end macro focusing rail with this head, but when combined you can actually achieve outstanding results. The second feature of the geared head is a very useful one. Each knob has an external part which allows the user to completely disengage the geared mechanism for quick rough estimation of the position of the head. This is good if you have a large change that you need to make and you don't want to rotate the geared knob for a long time. The head has three bubble levels to help you get a leveled shot any way you look at the head. We found the top one to be the most useful for us. Also, for some reason, the bottom one was always showing a slight off axis. So either the tripod was not 100% leveled or maybe there is something wrong with our floors. At any rate, these days most cameras come with a built-in virtual horizon so these bubble levels are mostly backups. The 405 has a specialized and not very common quick release system based on a large plate called the 410PL. To a degree, this is a larger, more robust version of our all-time favorite quick release plate, the Manfrotto RC2. It is meant to support much larger cameras and setups including medium and large format cameras, However, it is less convenient to use and can be hard to release and sometimes even require force. 
It comes with both quarter inch 20 and 3 8 screws, but these don't have the easy to screw in D-ring, although you can replace them for ones that do have them, which is what we have done. The head has angle markings for each of the three handles and they can be very useful for repeated precise positioning of the head. Just align the white dot with the angle markings and you're set to go. Before we conclude, I would like to mention that the 405 fits the Manfrotto 028B Studio tripod that we have tested here last week and they both work perfectly together and give the user the ability to control all three axes plus the height of the camera using both of their precise geared mechanisms. So to sum things up, the 405 is a specialized professional camera head which is extremely well made and well executed. The ability to precisely control the camera using handles while also perform large fast movement similar to a three-way head is very helpful and easy to use. There are very few drawbacks to this head, it is quite heavy although for what it does it is relatively compact and the quick release mechanism and the huge plate are a tad quirky. With that said, maybe the biggest potential drawback of this head has nothing to do with its build or functionality but with its cost. At around $450 this is going to be a major investment for most photographers. At this point it is worth asking who is the potential target audience for this unique head. Our answer is basically any type of photographer who depends on high degree of compositional accuracy for their professional work. These can be product, architectural, landscape or even macro shooters. As long as accuracy is more important than speed, this head will be on the top of our buying list. We have used this head for several months now for product photography, food photography as well as some macro work and it has been a joy to work with. The way we see it, working with a geared head like the 405 is not just a question of the type of work that you are doing but also the state of mind that you are in and the type of shooter that you are. Calculated, methodical and precise shooters will love this head while those who tend to work more freely and instinctively will probably want to stick with other tools. So this was our look at the 405 geared head by Manfrotto, a really fantastic product for the professionals who really need it. You can read the full review on lensvid.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.